you can. It's a little bit interesting because it's not a direct path. I was a, a studio art major at Williams College, and uh, I started as a studio art major because I was a strong in sciences. I really never took studio art before I got there. Freshman year, I took a course. The teacher was Tom Krenz. Um, went on to uh, you know, do the Guggenheim thing. And I liked it a lot, so I took another course, another course, and by the time my junior year came around, I realized that in addition to chemistry, I could double major in studio arts, so I did. But then, after I was graduating college and looking for a job, um, I didn't really think through what I was going to do in the art world, and I ended up working for an investment bank. So I spent 25 years in banking, two years uh, internship, went to Stanford Business School, and then came back to banking. And after 25 years, I really started to not like what I was doing. Uh, so I like to tell people, clients got stale. And um, my wife said, why are you still doing it? And I thought about it long and hard, and I realized that I really should do something different. You know, now is the time to do something for the rest of your life and not wait. So at that point, that, this is now 2007, I decided to go into art full time. Um, and I've been doing it ever since. I just, I'm a creative person. I love to make things. Um, I call myself a conceptual sculpture, which most people think should be used to be conceptual artist, but I very much identify with three-dimensionals, three-dimensional objects and you know, crafting things. And uh, it's just one pure pleasure to make something and then go through the process of creating something. Uh, but I also have a lot of very strong ideas about things. And when I get an idea for a piece of art, it typically is relatively fully formed it has to just translate into, into an object. Um, so it just, you know, it's, yeah, I've, I've always, from the beginning of you know, college, kept notebooks of ideas. And I have you know, more ideas than I know what to do with right now. I'm just kind of curating through what I have and figuring out what fits with the themes that I'm working on right now. I think my involvement in art has really expanded how I think about things. I, mean, I know a lot of people say you go to law school to think like a lawyer or business school to think like a businessman. I actually think that being an artist makes you think like an artist. And by that, you start to look at problems and think of ways of creatively, creatively solving those problems in a different way than kind of a you know, legal or business-like manner. Um, most of the art I do has got to be very technically challenging requires managing a lot of different resources, but at the end of the day, it's very gratifying to pull that together. And I think having had that art experience, one, my studio art major in college helped me a lot for my business life. And um, you know, even now, it's, it's something that I just, it, it, it allows me to do things in a way that is, I guess, not just more efficient, but gets beautiful things made. A uh, new artist, I've you know, doing this for seven years, I actually spent a lot of my time on my art business, just to call it that because it's what it really is, and that is marketing and promoting myself. So I probably spend half my time right now reaching out to people, reaching out to galleries, reaching out to buyers, um, reaching out to museums to see if I can do shows. The other half is really creating whatever I'm creating, and the reason I like art is that it's just it's so different and varied. You know, for any specific sculpture, I might be talking to foundries, I might be talking to a place that supplies a certain part that I have to get it done in a certain way. I might be at the lumber yard, I might be going out getting trees in a, in a, you know, a forest up in Massachusetts somewhere, um, where I literally went through a, and picked trees out that I needed to have for a piece that's working on. But it's very varied and very different. It's all challenging issues that I need to get my arms around and be able to then make something. I, th I think it should be made. I would say that I would urge myself to really follow my passions. Um, as I look back at my career, I think I did. I really enjoyed everything I've done in my, my life. Um, even though it took me a while to get back to art, I finally got there. But as I look at 
classmates and colleagues, the ones that are the happiest are those that are doing what they want to do, as opposed to doing something they think they have to do. And it's kind of hard to say, because I know sometimes it's hard to get jobs and all that kind of stuff, but really push yourself to try to find a job as closest to what you really want to do that you can.